how the brain auto-completes sentences. You ever say something out loud and realise your brain filled in the blanks before you even got there? Yeah, same. Turns out your brain's been running autocomplete since forever, without any Wi-Fi. And now AI's out here trying to copy it like the dumb kid who didn't study for the test. So let's talk about how your brain predicts stuff before you even say it, and sometimes absolutely embarrasses you in the process. The brain's built-in autocomplete. You know that weird feeling when someone's talking and your brain finishes their sentence before they do? That's because your brain is basically playing a non-stop game of mental autocomplete. It's wired to predict. Not just words, whole thoughts, actions, even emotions, and it's doing it faster than you can blink. This magic trick is called predictive processing. Basically, your brain's not waiting for info, it's guessing what's coming next based on past experience. Like a sports announcer who already decided how the play ends. It's why you can read this and still get the message. It's why song lyrics get stuck in your head. It's why you accidentally call your teacher mom. And it's why you sometimes agree to things before you realise what you just said yes to. Your brain is in a rush and it wants to be right, fast and first. Which also means it messes up a lot. Like hearing happy birthday and replying you too! Yeah, we've all done it. Your brain filled in a blank that wasn't even there. It's not trying to sabotage you, it's trying to save time. Because processing every single word from scratch, that's exhausting. So your brain takes shortcuts. Impressive, right? And sometimes those shortcuts lead straight into a wall of social awkwardness and a few cancelled dates. But hey, at least it means your brain's working. Just maybe give it a second before speaking next time. The science behind your brain's psychic powers. Okay, let's get nerdy for a second. How exactly does your brain know what word's coming next? So you know, your brain predicts things even before they're said. This prediction stuff happens in your neocortex, especially areas like the left inferior frontal gyrus and superior temple gyrus. I know, sounds like Hogwarts classes. These brain regions fire up when you're processing grammar, meaning and context. Basically, they're your brain's sentence GPS, calculating what path you're on and where the sentence is headed. But here's the wild part. Your brain doesn't wait to hear the full word. It starts preparing your muscles, lips, tongue, even your vocal cords to say the next sound before it's spoken. Yeah, your mouth gets ready before your brain even confirms the sentence. That's like warming up the car before you know where you're going. There's even a test for this, it's called the close test, where researchers remove a word from a sentence and ask people to fill in the blank. And in results, most people guess correctly, even with almost zero context, because your brain gambles with every sentence. If your prediction is wrong, your brain feels a mini error signal, like wait, that's not what I expected. Scientists literally see this on brain scans, a spike of activity when a surprise word hits. Basically, your neurons go, huh? And throw a tiny tantrum. So yet, yeah, your brain is a messy little gambler. It makes predictions, it updates those predictions, and it learns from its mistakes. Which is how you go from, I can has cheeseburger, to writing full emails while barely thinking. Why your brain thinks it's smarter than you. So why does your brain jump the gun like that? Easy, it's lazy but in a genius way. See, your brain burns a ton of energy. Like, just thinking can drain you more than leg day. So instead of processing everything in real time, it cheats. It builds shortcuts based on context, patterns, and past experience. Let's say someone says, I need you to... Your brain immediately goes, leave? Pay rent? Stop sending memes at 3 a.m.? It's already queuing up every possible ending before the sentence finishes. It's like Google, but with less chill. This shortcut system is actually what makes language work. It's why you can understand fast speech, read messy handwriting, or finish someone's sentence without even thinking about it. And most of the time, it works great. Other times, not so much. Like when your crush says, I really like someone who's... And your brain fills in, into anime and depression memes? Meanwhile, they finish with, emotionally mature. And now you're just standing there, wondering if you even have a chance. That's the downside of predictive processing. It's efficient, not accurate. 
Your brain doesn't wait to know, it just assumes. It's like autocorrect in your head. Helpful 80% of the time, a disaster the other 20%. But that's how it rolls, the brain is built to gamble, and whether you land on genius or faceplant, it's always betting on what's next. And if you say something dumb along the way, well, at least your brain tried. So your brain's been playing autocomplete since forever. Naturally, tech bros took one look and went, yo, we can monetize that. When AI stole the brain's homework. This is when the concept of AI really started. From Gmail suggestions to Siri guessing your next breakup text, all these tools are basically digital parrots trying to do what your brain does every day, but with 400,000 GPUs and zero childhood trauma. Large language models are trained on billions of words. They don't think like we do, they just crunch patterns and probabilities. If you type, I'm so hungry I could, it goes, statistically speaking, you'll say, eat some chicken. Your brain goes, bite the next person who talks to me. Point is, both are guessing, but only one is doing it with caffeine and anxiety. AI basically hijacked your brain's party trick, predictive processing and turned it into a business model. And let's be honest, sometimes the machine wins. AI doesn't get distracted, it doesn't forget what it was doing because a dog walked by, it just auto-completes. Cold, fast and unbothered. But here's the thing, AI needs a data centre the size of a football field to do what your brain does while half asleep in the shower. And still, your brain can make creative leaps, understand sarcasm and read the room. While AI reads Reddit, and you know how that can get real wrong, real fast. So yeah, machines can guess the next word, but only because they copied the ultimate original. Your brain was the blueprint. Everything else is just version 2.0 with a boring personality. And just so you know, AI might have the power of 10,000 servers, but your brain can finish a joke, sense sarcasm and read the vibe in a room with just one eyebrow raise. So the next time you hear someone say, wow, AI is getting scary smart, just smile. Because your brain's been doing this since you were in the womb. Now, if your brain enjoyed this video, tell it to smash that subscribe button. It's completely free. Also, what's the dumbest thing your brain ever made you say by accident? Let me know in the comments so I feel less bad about myself. See you in the next one.